On the hottest weekend of 2020, with temperatures exceeding 120 degrees, several lunatics decided to put on wool uniforms and go to the desert for the School of Musketry. It was, in a word, miserable. But we did accomplish the usual activities and introduced a new one, a 600-yard shoot for the coveted Queen's Prize. The winner would take home a priceless golden bullet and golden cup, which were definitely not just spray-painted a golden color. The rules for the Queen's Prize are simple. It's a 600-yard target, and you can use any military rifle designed to use black powder. This would be a challenging shoot under any conditions. At temperatures well over halfway to boiling, it was a grueling torture test for man and musket. On a hill across the valley was the steel target, only four feet tall and 24 inches wide. It is barely perceptible in the photo. Eight of us climbed up the hill to shoot for the Queen's prize. Only two of us hit the steel in the first round. I clipped it with the Whitworth and Dan nailed it with his P-53 infield. To break the tie, we continued shooting. And for the next 15 minutes, Dan and I went back and forth, the Whitworth and the infield, locked in a battle for the glorious prize. And in spite of my best attempt at editing, I have to warn you about a few four-letter adult words in this video. Left. Yep. Just high. Six feet Hit. low. Who the fuck would go riding this weekend? It's so hot. It's, it's holiday weekend. But it's fucking 100. That's that a, hit. a hit. Yep. Nice. Low. Yeah, well, yeah, it's an 1857 miles. Nice. It's a weird fucking You better not miss this. I want to go drink. It's not a rainbow, is it? Yes, it is. Two miles all over. That's weird. Why is it so hard to pull out? Just kind of want it. It went right. Oh. That sounds pretty fucking weird. That sounded like a hit. Yeah. That was a clear hit. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. In the end, we agreed to a tie and split the prize. Dan's P-53 infield exceeded every expectation. By all rights, the Whitworth should have won. It just goes to show what an amazing rifle the ordinary Pattern 53 infield is with a good rifleman behind it.